This is the highest point on Earth, at least the highest above sea level. It's Mount Everest. And this is the guy it's named after, George Everest. But here's something you don't see often. It's Everest's grave. I do wonder if those people waiting for the bus have any idea. But we'll come back to this in a moment. Everest was Surveyor General of India, overseeing the epic job of mapping the subcontinent. He was no longer in the job when a peak, simply numbered 15, was found to be the world's highest. With an agreed local name hard to find, Everest's successor suggested, well, calling it Mount Everest. Somewhat humbly, Sir George didn't agree. He thought locals would find it hard to pronounce and write. But 22 years after his retirement, and 13 years after it had been established as the world's highest peak, the name Mount Everest was adopted. And it seems Sir George was right about pronunciation. We all know Everest has since become Everest. George Everest died a year after the naming, which takes us back to this churchyard. It's St Andrews in the English town of Hove, near Brighton, in the shadow of a local supermarket. Tesco's, they're everywhere. But here's what fascinates me. Just a few minutes walk brings you here. That's right, George Everest, whose name adorns the highest point on earth, is essentially buried at sea level. The mighty mountain now has several local names, but Everest seems to have stuck. And let's be honest, it's catchier than 15. As an aside, the world's second highest mountain, K2, has kept its old number designation, an arbitrary number attached to a peak in the Karakoram range before its true height was known. If you'd like to see more footage of Mount Everest and bits and pieces I filmed while I was there, check out these links.